Hey everyone, this is Dimitri Pragmatic with MarketChameleon.com. Um, in this video, we're going to do an actual stock screen looking for stocks that are showing strength relative to the rest of the market. So if you're looking for either short-term stock ideas or maybe even long-term stock ideas, or you're looking to do some kind of a, a trade in an options like a bull call spread or a bearish put spread, you might want to take a look for candidates that are showing that they have strength relative to the rest of the market and before we get into that let's take a look at a few different ways how we could measure a stock performance relative to the market and when we're going to do this example the way we're going to look at relative strength is we're going to use the SPY ETF as the benchmark the, the S&P 500 ETF as the market benchmark and we're going to look for a few different things first we're going to compare um, during, during our test period uh, the percent of the days that uh, the stock had positive moves versus the percent of days SPY had positive moves. So if we looked at the last 10 days and SPY was up 6 out of the 10 days, we'd want that stock to show that it was up at least 6 or more days out of the same in the same period. We're also going to look at the average daily returns in that period. So we're going to take the daily returns and average them out in case there was like one really big move. Um, it, within within that period and then it kind of stopped this will smooth out those returns we're also going to look at the standard deviation of the daily returns so uh, we're going to take all the average returns and then we're going to take the standard deviation so we could compare the two standard deviations um, as a unit of risk and then lastly we're also going to compare the ratio of the average returns divided by the standard deviation which is going to give us a ratio of how much return did we earn per unit of risk right so you want to have more returns for less variability so the higher this ratio the better it is so let's exit this for now and I'm gonna to go to the stock screener here and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this view and go to the average daily stats so over here this is what we're talking about and it's divided into the last 15 days 30 days and 90 days and i'm going to look at, at the short term the last 15 days and as you could see here this is the percentage of positive moves over here so, uh, this is the average return daily return in the last 15 days this is the standard deviation and this is the ratio of taking the average return dividing it by the standard deviation to get to get this this ratio um, so let's do a quick screen and one thing I'm, I'm gonna do here is just gonna look for higher market cap stocks um, assuming maybe we're looking for like a bull put spread or, or a call spread and and we might play it with an option then I'm gonna go for stocks that are over 1 billion um, and besides that let's now screen out for stocks that are showing relative strength i'm going to go over here and look at the last 15 days and the percent of positive moves i'm going to pick instead of picking the percent i'm just going to go down to the benchmark down here and i'm going to say above whatever spy was it has to be above that that amount so whatever if spy was 60 percent filter stocks that were above that amount um, also the average return I'm going to do the same thing I'm just going to go instead of picking an average return I'm just going to say show me anything that performed better um, than SPY over over the last 15 days then the other thing is let's just kind of go right back down to this sharp ratio and look for um, a ratio anything better than the market the SPY so now what we did was oops sorry let me just set that again okay here we go so this is this is what we have here now narrowed it down from 9400 to 327 candidates um actually i think this one might be a preferred stock so let's just go a little bit lower than that and we see uh, um a few things popping up we see spy here that's the benchmark so we see 67 percent of the days it's been up in the last 15 days so all these should be 67 percent or higher we see spy here on average daily return is one tenth of a percent so all these should be higher than that and then we see that spy the 
the the average return divided by the standard deviation 12.64 percent so all these should be higher and now let's just take a look uh really quickly we see this is johnson johnson mastercard intel home depot and so forth so you could see some high cap stocks here that tesla ibm um even the qqqs in here so we could see uh, a bunch of candidates that are uh potential for for trade based on these last 15 days of statistics and looking for stocks that have been showing uh, strength or relative strength um, relative to this SPY or the market. Uh, so hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this video and see you next time. Bye.